Hi friend and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Dora. If you've already seen the title of this video, you probably know what I'm going to talk about. It is a 12 week year method. It will help you convert your newly set goals into actionable steps that you can rely on and that you can follow in the next 12 weeks to really work towards what matters to you most. And not only that, but I've also included a totally free Notion template that you can just duplicate to your own Notion board. The only thing that I ask in return, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. So what even is the 12 week year? I wanna say it's kind of like a productivity method. It has been created by these two writers. It's a whole book. You can read it if you want to. Um, but the gist of it is that you would take your goals that you want to achieve in one year, and you would kind of condense those goals and try to achieve them within 12 weeks. Now you might be thinking, um, that sounds crazy. Why would anybody want to do that? That's super stressful and probably impossible because the 12 weeks are such a shorter time frame than a whole year. The idea is that you will basically be more motivated to work towards your goals and kind of sprint towards them. That will provide you a better overview over the things that you are doing or perhaps not doing to achieve your goals. And it will also kind of feel a little bit more manageable to you because you're not spreading these actions on to a whole year. Instead, you're just kind of limiting yourself to these 12 weeks, seeing what you can achieve in this time frame, and just basically running towards it full speed ahead. I literally swear by this method. So if you're like, hey, I have all of these goals that I want to achieve, but I don't really have anything to kind of provide me with some direction or really tell me what exactly am I supposed to be doing on a day-to-day -day basis to work towards what I want, then definitely stick around because this method really solves that. And without talking too much about it, let's get straight into the template and I will show you everything. I already have my own that is already filled out with a bunch of personal things. So I don't really feel comfortable sharing all of that online. So I will just like open up a fresh one and fill it out with you as we go along. And if you've downloaded your template or duplicated it to your notion, you can also follow along with me and fill out your own one in your own notion. So yeah. The first thing that we see are some widgets and there's just this cute clock here because I guess we want to know what time it is. And this one though is a real champ, just like a little percentage widget that shows you how much time you have left in a week, in a month, in a quarter, and in a year. Then underneath that, we have this little sentence from vision to reality. Obviously everything here is customizable. So you can put in anything that you find very motivating. You can change the colors, you can change the icons, the widgets, the playlist, like you can do whatever you want. Um, and that's the, amazing thing about Notion and why I love it so much. And here I just have written out um, the quarter, when the quarter starts and when it ends. So at the end of each month, I would just do like a little reset. I know exactly what date I should do it. Next thing that we have are these daily check-ins, which we'll come back to at the end because that's not really important right now. And then we have the archive. This is just like the playlist that I'm currently listening to. It's what I like to listen to when I'm feeling productive. Tropical house or tropical chill mixes. Now let's get into the real deal, which is this button here. We're going to click it and then it's going to open up the rest of the template. So we just click that. And then the first thing when it loads, the first thing that we are going to see is going to be this red placeholder for the year and the number of the quarter. So let's just go ahead and fill that out and always next to a quarter i just like to add either like a little quote or like a little word is going to be bliss so i'm just going to add that there that's like like a little cute thing that i like to have everything is customizable to the way you like it and the template is hidden in this toggle so we just click it and basically that's it that's how it looks like it's a little bit bare bones in the beginning but don't worry we'll make it cute in just a second the first thing that you will do is you will add your vision board at the top of the template. Find that when the vision board is the first thing I see when I enter the template, I'm so much more motivated to get into it and to start planning because I don't know, I just find it very inspirational and motivational as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to remove this call out. Actually, we're going to delete that, add a new thing and go on a dash and image and then you will find your own 
vision board. I just have this one, which is like a template vision board. It's not my own, it's just one that I found in Canva. And you will just add this here so it takes some time to load. But whatever vision board you have, you can make it and insert it here so that is going to be the first thing you see whenever you enter your template. So once you have your vision board uploaded, it's time to define your three most important goals that you want to achieve this year. Maybe you are a new YouTuber like me and you would like to get monetized in the near future or this year. So what you will do is you would write down right here, goal one, YouTube, oops monetized youtube monetized that is one of my actually personally main goals for this year so that is something that i'm sharing with you from my own template and then goal two maybe it will be become an intuitive eater because that's always a good goal to have and then goal three can be to say save up 10k once you have your goals for this one year, you can also determine where your focus will lie. So for example, in your personal life, your focus will be to maybe heal your relationship with food, be mindful of spendings, developing new coping mechanisms for when you feel down and depressed and not turning to food as a solution to your problems and on the business focus of things or basically in your work life you could maybe network network more prioritize prioritize filming for YouTube and maybe create a new stream of income these are just some verbal reminders of like where you should be focusing in your life they're kind of like a support to the vision board i know i said that this method is supposed to help you take your one year goals and basically try to achieve them within 12 weeks but i find that to be sometimes quite unrealistic and honestly a little bit overwhelming because i don't want to feel overwhelmed whenever i enter this template instead i want to believe that what I have planned out for my 12-week goals is achievable and for example if I want to become monetized on YouTube this year and I try to achieve that within 12 weeks kind of subconsciously I have this doubt that I'm going to be able to do that so I'm not going to put that even on my list because that's also a little bit out of my control instead what I would do is for these next 12 weeks I'm going to put in post 12 YouTube videos and maybe two shorts per week. It's just enough scary to get your butt in gear, but not too scary to kind of overwhelm you so much that you kind of collapse and don't do anything to reach your goal. So we are in the 12 week year goal. So what did we say? We said we want to get YouTube monetized. So goal one for the next 12 weeks is going to be post 12 videos and two shorts per week. Goal two, becoming an intuitive eater. So the, the first goal on that journey could be to absolutely stop tracking your food intake and just rely on your hunger and fullness cues. Then goal three, have 10K in savings. That is a great goal to have for one year, but maybe in these 12 weeks, you can just say, okay, let's put perhaps like two and a half K in savings. After that, you're going to insert, again, cute photos into the template because we're trying to make it cute. So we're going to go on dash and on image and we're going to find, maybe let's go to unsplash and find camera as like a little content creator type moment. Then here, and for the last one, we're gonna go on image and we're going to type in money. For goal number one, to post four videos per week and two shorts per week, priority number one could be to stay consistent. And for your second goal, where you want to stop tracking food and start relying on your hunger and fullness, we can have as a priority to have three balanced meals per day. And for the last goal, to save 2.5K in savings, the priority can be, for example, to manage your spendings better. Now that you have your three priorities, you can go and break these down also further into strategies. And there's just like five strategies each. That's what I decided to put into the template, but you can have also 
a different number of strategies. You can have more, you can have less, whatever you want to have. So how will we stay consistent with posting? So we have, we want to post 12 videos per week and two shirts per week. We will be planning ahead, researching and planning ahead, researching and planning ahead. Then for intuitive eating and having three balanced meals per day, strategy one could be read the intuitive eating book. There we go. And for our last goals, we also need a couple of strategies. So what does it mean to manage spendings? The first thing that we would do is probably create a budget for ourselves. There we go. We have our 12 week year goals. We have our priorities. We have our strategies. That is basically what we need to follow. We are almost there and now it's time to go into work mode because we don't want this to just remain strategies. We want to plan them and schedule them into our weeks and that is the next part. And then we're basically done. This is the last thing. We go like this and here is the part where we have the work mode. So there's these three months that I've already entered and it's again a toggle situation and a button situation. So we click on it and it's going to open a simple table that looks like this where you have week one, week two, week three, week four and you can obviously fill this out with dates as well in this column but here on top you have your priorities you let's go like this let's go and copy these into here paste here and now we can take strategies from each of these sections and put them into our weeks and schedule them into our weeks so for example say copy this research and plan ahead we go copy we say monday research and plan ahead and we can make that a little bit more immediate like that and that would be my first task of that week and then i will just go and fill out the rest there you go and that's basically planned out the whole week is planned out i exact i know exactly what i have to do each day in order to stay on track with this goal and that's it so the same thing you would do here with balanced meals and here with managing spendings you would just take your strategies and you would write down in each of these boxes what you want to do and anything else that you want to do that week so i actually use this for planning out way more than just these three areas of my life but yeah, that's what I find the most helpful. And then when you are done with this month, you just kind of like toggle it back in here and you can go on to the next month and then the next month. And then when you're finished with all of those months and with this entire quarter, you just toggle it back here and you move it into the archive. And that is basically it. And then you can start a new 12 week year from the top. Right, so the daily check-in when we go into it is just like a little calendar and it's the AM PM journal as it is described in the kindness method, um, which is another thing, a totally other thing, but I love to use this for my daily check-ins. When I open a new day here, there's like a little template and in the AM, you can start your day by asking yourself, what will test me today? How would I usually respond? And how could I respond in a way that would make me feel pleasantly surprised by myself, etc.? And then in the evening, you would do like a little reflection of all the things that were happening that day. So I love to use this method of journaling because the prompts make it so much easier not to wander off. Um, not saying that either one is better than the other, but like this is just what has been helping me. So that's also included in the template if you feel like using that. That was the whole 12 week year template. I know this type of video is a little bit of a different one for me since I usually talk about intuitive eating, body neutrality, etc. But I'm also an avid planner and I hope that you found this video helpful. Don't forget to check the description for that free template. And if you do end up duplicating it to your notion and start using it, make sure to leave a comment to tell me how you liked it. And that is it for today, my friends. I will see you hopefully in my next one. Bye.